Tubing is among few water-based activities closely tied to the local tourism industry. Every year, thousands of visitors converge on the Hock Chien to experience the outdoor adventure of drifting along the meandering waterways within the unique cave system. The pastime has grown exceedingly in popularity and has become the livelihood of choice for a number of tour operators offering the activity to sightseers. Today, however, there is uproar within that sector of the industry as visitors are now being required to stand 48 inches or taller to go cave tubing. They never communicate to us and say, you know what, effective so-and-so will be implemented this law or these regulations or these standards of 48 inches. They're hurting my guests' feelings because they travel as families. The contention is that the requirement is too stringent and is forcing families with children under the prescribed height away from the site. Just yesterday, I got 20, 21 people returned back. You will ask me, you were carrying 21 kids? No, there were only three kids. One in a family of five, one in a family of eight, and one in a family of seven, I believe. Each family, when the, the kids cannot go cave tubing, we are not going. And they were not mad at the government. They were mad at the park rangers, they were mad at all the tour operators, they were mad at everybody that they could see. They don't get to see Mitch, they don't get to see the government, they don't get to see, they get to see the immediate persons, and they go off at us for their Miss Booklet. According to FECTAB, the guideline falls under an initiative known as Making Tourism Benefit Communities Adjacent to Archaeological Sites. A project founded by the European Union and the government of Belize. They got money to teach us and give us a manual how to do cave tubing without consulting us. This right here, this book is ridiculous. You come with us with your family, we provide an extra tour guide, kids' tubes, kids' life jackets, everything. So what they're doing now? Listen, where are we going? There are a lot of kids. So our guests are complaining that we are not taking kids, but they are, local people are taking kids. Find a way, find a way how to stop them. They found it through niche. The Federation of Cruise Tourism Associations of Belize, FECTAB, is accusing the National Institute of Culture and History of devising a newly implemented safety policy which prohibits the participation of anyone under 48 inches, including children. To be fair to the BTB, the BTB and, 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 and FECTAB members met. They tried to help, but they tell us, look, we license you and, uh, as guides and operators and so When it comes to niche parks, they're responsible. I've had a person from niche tell me, boy, that's BTB, you know, to which I said, that's nonsense. BTB no responsible for that, that who no. So it just shows me an incomprehensible concept. Among other concerns is the advent of dark night cave tubing, which Fectab also claims is benefiting from a sweetheart agreement. Dark night, I mean, a big secret. We hear rumors, rumors. We're not allowed on the property. Again, you have people in place, niche, that is supposed to be regulating these people. We knew nothing about, nobody consulted us about that. As far as you know, that was a private deal done, and the head of niche has sanctioned it. I, I, and and this, this, this blows my mind away. I had a meeting with a certain member of the Belize Tourism Board, and they went and tried to check it out themselves, and they were not allowed on property either. So obviously, whoever, whoever Dark Knight is, I don't know if it's a knight in shining armor or what, but well, he gets some special preferential treatment. He get own cave, he get no regulation, he get one, all right. Does anybody in this room know what the exact deal Dark Knight got? No. Nobody, no consultant. I mean, I'm telling you somebody in the higher ech ech echelon, sell way out. Reporting for News 5, I am Isanike Atano.